Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 22 of Direwolf20's FTB Retro Series. I'm, well, first off, I just requested another eight low voltage solar panels, because I just like to do that every time I log in now and then. Uh, today, I think I'm going to work on some quests, objectives, because there's some things I need to do to get done to move on. Uh, I turned this off, because I just started getting ridiculous amounts of red matter. <laughs> I just said to myself, this is like too OP. This is ridiculous. The amount of stuff that we get here is just silly. It's just completely silly. And I don't know why all of a sudden, there we go. Now it's working. Cool. Uh, it's just completely silly how much stuff you get from this. Like completely absurdly silly. I, I mean, I cracked up. I couldn't tell you. Like I let this run for a little bit and it was just like, red matter, craziness. Like just tons and tons and tons of red matter. So I said, you know what? Let's let's turn this off. Like this is too much. I mean, I'll I'll probably wind up turning it on again at some point. Don't forget, I still have like some more Mark III collectors that like I never actually finished using. Um, I should probably pull out like a few more of those. Probably turn that red matter into another set. I'm debating if I want to like have multiple sets of these that all feed into one central collector. Um, or what I might want to do, but. Um, for now, I think one thing I'd like to do is work on a quest that I think I should be able to relatively easily make. Um, that's this. Um, so there's a few things we need to make here. CPU. Look at me not knowing. Okay, so central processing unit. That doesn't seem too terrible. It requires ribbon cable, which is fine copper wire, which is a diamond draw plate and copper. Diamond draw plate being iron strips and diamond panels. None of this sounds terrible. Uh, back panes, those are relatively easy to make. Uh, frame motors, those are relatively easy to make. It just requires motor, which is copper coils. Not bad, not bad. Uh, disk drives, not terrible at all. Uh, RAM, I don't think that's too bad. 8K RAM modules, nah, that's easy peasy. Uh, red power pump, monitors, IO expander, accelerators. I mean, I think this is all within reason. So I think what I should do is start cooking up some things in the red alloy furnace. And I'm debating making another red alloy furnace. Um, so the alloy furnace, there's also a blutricity alloy furnace, which is kind of cool to have. Maybe I should make one of those and throw some solar panels on top of it. Does that sound reasonable? Because I have some extra solar sitting around, right? Let's do that. Um, just requires some of this. Let's get like two of them. Does that sound cool? I'll just need a little bit of iron and some bricks. Totally within reason. And then uh, some bricks, which we'll get about 10 of. And we'll see if just, you know, solar panels by themselves are good enough for this process. I almost tried to do the thing that you're not allowed to do in this version of Minecraft. which is click and drag. Totally not possible. We'll see if this works after I sleep, because solar panels only work during the daytime. There's obviously other ways to generate power from Red Power 2. Um, you know, solar is not the only option, but it's definitely a good one. So we should start seeing these guys spark into life and start transferring power into this bad boy. I forget if they need to see the sky. Do you need to see the sky for your solar panels to work? The answer is probably. Probably. That is a hearty more than likely. I mean, it only makes sense that solar panels need direct line of sight to the sky, but, you know, who am I? To judge. Let's put them over here then. That sounds like a nice spot for these guys to sit, right? Power flowing now. Everybody happy? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Boom. Already getting small amounts of power. That's nice. I'm wondering if I should get... There is a... That's right. You can't do that in this version either. It's... It's, it's really messing with my brain sometimes, switching, like, because, like, I alternate days that I record, so some days I'm recording in 1.10, and other days I'm recording in 1.25, and I'm like, oh, right, you can't, okay, that's right, that's the thing that you do in that version. Oh, then that doesn't work in that version. That's confusing, to say the least. 
Uh, there's a power storage block. There it is, battery box. That just requires some batteries, which is some nickelite, copper, and tin. It wouldn't be a bad idea, I think, to get a battery box. So let's let those chill. Uh, we're gonna get nickelite and all that good stuff. So let's throw this thing in there. Let's first off start by iron. You know what I'm gonna do is just get a stack of iron, tin, and copper. And then let's get Nicolite. And that should do for a battery box. Iron, copper, tin, Nicolite. Yeah, that should be cool. Wouldn't mind having just a little bit of power here, kind of flowing and doing cool stuff. So let's do. I think it was copper, copper, and tin, right? Nice. Eight batteries, and then the battery box. Battery box required a piece of wood that I currently don't have in my inventory. So let's get two pieces of wood and try that again. Sweet. So what I'm thinking I could do then is maybe move these in such a way that they're adjacent. Now the way um, power flows in Red Power 2, uh, that is blue electric. I want the blue electric one. That it just auto self balances itself pretty much. So what you're basically looking at is that it'll automatically balance itself all the time. Now are you going to be line of sight to the sky? Negative. But you should be, right? And we can tell because we're going to check in the battery box and we're going to see that's probably power balancing at the moment off of what was already in here. And here see everything is kind of automatically balancing itself it's based on like real world electricity basically from what i understand but i'm not an electricity dude so i don't know for sure but that should be pretty much what's happening so this line of sight to the sky see so we should be cool um what i could do is just that and that and these guys should all have line of sight to the sky and be okay yeah, that should be fine. So those three solar panels should do a decent job of filling up the battery box, which will also do a decent job of filling up the blue electric alloy furnace. Cool. In the meantime, let's start working on some other stuff I know we're going to need. We're going to want more of these things. So let's get our saw, which I'm sure I have in here somewhere. And let's look at some of the stuff we're going to need to get a lot of. Um... I'm thinking we're going to want more Nicolite, so let's get like a stack of that, another stack, and I'm also going to want some redstone, and let's get silver, so I think silver is right around the same vein as goldish, there it is, 512, yeah, so that works. Cool. Now you guys should pretty quickly get to a point where the internal power is such that you can power the device. Once this bar on the right fills up, which we should see it happen pretty quickly once the left bar gets to a certain point, then we'll know that we're ready to actually like process stuff um, based on the amount of energy currently inside the machines. Not bad. It's going. See? There it goes. It quickly filled up that right hand bar because it's got enough power. Neat. So if I wanted to get some more silver in this, that shouldn't have a problem processing. It might struggle a little bit, but I think we'll be all right. That works. So we'll let that cook, see how it goes. Once those internal batteries fill up a be decent amount, like, we'll, like this right here is the actual buffer of power. So once this thing fills up, it'll last us quite a while. While that's cooking, let's get more silicon pools, because I don't think we have any of those at the moment, right? What's involved in making those things? 
Um, just an alley furnace of sand and coal. Okay. Eight sand. And eight coal. And maybe I want to keep this. Well, I'll throw it in the other alley. That sounds cool. Should be a quick process. Oh, yeah. Right now, our power demands are struggling to meet both machines' needs, I think. But soon we'll have this battery box filled up and we'll be in good shape. Because I'm trying to do too much on too low of a power source. I didn't really give him time to fill up a buffer, but eh. We'll let it cook. What else did I need? For the back pane, I know we need a fine copper wire, which requires a diamond draw plate. That is four iron panel strips and a diamond panel. So what we're gonna need for that is the following. We're going to need a diamond block. And iron and then we'd saw this up slabs panels panel strips slabs panels so what we should be able to make you really don't need more than one of these at least not for a while because it's uh, it takes a damage value so for now we'll let this guy sit here and we combine that with copper and you'll see right now See how it took some damage there? So that's how you get your fine copper wire. I'm just gonna get a bunch of it because I know I'm gonna need a lot. Um, so back panes are just gold and iron bars. So that should be nearly simplistically close to having the back panes that I need. Right, so that and some gold. Let's get just like a stack just to have. Where is my client star? There it is. I know, I'm terrible at seeing stuff sometimes. So I need eight back panes. And that completes one of my quest objectives. Nice. The central processing unit, by the way. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but basically this thing had um, a whole computer programming com concept to it. Came out around the same time as computer craft, but they both had different approaches to computer programming. Um, and they're both very cool. I'll be honest with you though, it's a, it's a more low level programming language than what computer craft used and still uses. Uh, and as a result, I couldn't even begin to remember how to program in it. If I'm being totally honest, it's been a long time since I learned it. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, what was it called? Honestly, it's been a while. But it was definitely cool. You could do some really complex and cool stuff with it. I remember that much. And the ribbon cable. Nice. So that's another quest objective down. Super cool. Frame motors, not super hard. Just requires some brass and a blue electric motor, which requires copper coils. Do I have any brass hanging out? I do. Blue electric motor requires copper coils, which requires iron in the center. These guys and... I think these were on the sides, weren't they? And check. And then brass. You'll notice that anything that requires blue tricity from Project Red or Red Power 2, I mean, um, pretty much always has a blue alloy ingot involved in, in the crafting recipe. It's kind of interesting. Like, Elram, who was the author of Red Power 2, put a lot of time and effort into making sure that her recipes made sense. Um, just from a lot of logical standpoints. So I cut up my silicon wafers, I'm going to turn them into all red powered ones. And then the uh, next thing I want is a drive, disk drive. So disk drives require a motor, right? Makes sense. Kind of does, just a little bit. Um, 
So we'll make another one of these guys. Blue electric motor. And they had just wood, a red doped wafer, and a ribbon cable. So I should probably hang on to those ribbon cables. I'm probably not done with them for a bit. It's one of the things that I always like respected about Red Power is their, their recipes that you could tell there was a lot of thought put into a lot of the things like the recipes making sense and there being like a theme and a pattern to the way everything worked. And then another piece of wood. Nice, disk drive, complete. Uh, 8X 8K RAM modules. So 8K RAM modules require some red doped wafers. So good thing I'm making a lot of those and some iron bars and some diamonds. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna need another silicon bool, if my math is correct. Um, so let's get the 8K sand, and then we'll get the Kleinstar. We wanna get um, this stuff. And we'll get another stack of you and eight coal. Yeah, see, power's fluctuating just a little bit, but that's because I'm putting some heavy demands on the power use right now. I could work on getting another power generation system, but if I let this be for a little bit, solar should be more than enough for me. Just want you to cook up nice and quickly. So that's four of them down. Uh, we're going to need four more, and for that I'm just waiting on some more red doped wafers, which are probably cooking up over here. Yeah, you're still struggling a little bit power-wise. I might beg, borrow, and steal another solar panel, or I could make more. Are involved in those blue doped wafers and blue electricity cable wire stuff, that thing. Uh, I don't have any blue doped at the moment. I could probably make more, but I'm gonna hold off a minute. This shouldn't be a problem. See, that boosted our power at least a little bit. So I'm thinking instead of you, boy, are we really at a position of low inventory space. You guys can go away for the time being. Um, let's cook up a couple of these and I would probably want more sand and stuff. More sand and more coal. Because I want to make a thermal pile. That just requires copper, iron. I decided I wanted one. Why not? I'll let you guys see what it's like for those of you who never saw the old thermal pile. It's pretty cool. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's get this reset, so where's you? We'll turn tin into some copper. This, that, and you, thermopile, nice. For now, these things can go away. You I probably don't need either. What I do want are a couple of buckets. Uh, I would like a bucket of lava and water, please. So the thermal pile works on a temperature differential, basically the difference between two temperatures. Um, and I'm, if I remember correctly, your most efficient setup involves one lava and four water. So what we'll do here is put our lava and then we'll put our thermal pile on top. And I may not want to go this route perfectly. Let's put the thermal pile in the ground. Cool. And then we can have the water sources here, 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 and here. And we'll get you. Cool. And then we put a lava source underneath it. Okay. So this way it looks something like this with the lava source. Temporarily this goes here just so I can place it on top. 
and water on the four sides. You could use ice, but the ice will eventually melt. And that's not a good time for anybody. So, um, I mean, it'll turn into water and then it'll be fine. But um, if you wanted to use ice regularly, you'd have to constantly replace it. So like I said, nobody wants to do. Cool. All right, so let's do this. So that should be generating power now. So if you want, you can make blue alloy wire, which can be used to transfer the power around. And that's just you guys with some wool. Do I have enough wool for this? Probably not. Uh, you burn up, would you? It's enough for me. Hopefully, you know what, I'm gonna get two sets of this just because I got enough wool for it. That works. So you're getting a little bit of power buffer now because I haven't actually been running this. Um, but what might be cool to do is, I think you want this to actually go like so, so that it's connected. And then it can loop around and I'll run it. Can I get you into this block space without too much trouble? Probably not terribly. That's where I actually walk, isn't it? If you want to talk about dire wire, no joke. That's what we're getting ourselves into right now. Could probably run into the underground here. Um, you know what would probably be nice is just to run it like that. There we go. And now we should be getting power from this thermal pile. Nice, right? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So now we should have a good amount of power going here. And if we wanted to, we could start cooking this stuff up again. So let's saw this up. Really need to clean up my inventory. We're getting there though. Uh, silicon bull. And the other thing I needed was focus redstone. A stack of redstone. Just because I need lots of these red blue things. And now we should have really like very few power problems. Between the solars and this thing, we should be golden. Cool. Now we're good if I've got these guys. Nice. So that is a little lesson in Blutricity and how it works. Uh, so I've got a few more things to craft. Let me come back once I clean up my inventory and get my act together. So the red power pump is pretty nice, as I recall. We're going to need another set of copper coils, so I should probably grab some of these dudes and we could probably make a couple more of you. Uh, let's get more copper. You with tin? Good enough. Let's do like half of these. And just to make it a nice even number, we'll do one more. Beautiful. Um, so we're also going to need fluid pipes, which are brass and glass. That's not a problem. So you were iron in the middle. And I think eight of these would be sufficient for now. I think that required a lot of iron, so let's get another stack. something like this, right? There we go. Just a handful of motors because I'm sure we'll need them at some point. This was a really cool liquid transfer system. Um, we need brass and glass. Um, so red power had like an amazing liquid ability. 
to manipulate and flow liquids around. It was really pretty good, if I'm being honest. And I definitely miss some of its functionality. You can make really cool stuff. It had like a really neat search algorithm where it would flow out and find like ways to do crazy things. We might play with it at some point on this map. Probably more for fun than anything else. Another requirement is a monitor. So we need Lime Lumar. Everything else I've got. So that is just Lime Dye, which is Bone Meal and Cactus Green. I might have Cactus Green laying around. I do. I can totally get Bone Meal. It would probably be easier to go over here to get Bone Meal. You get two of them, right? Yeah. So that's going to be your Lime Lumar. All we need is some energy. So we'll get one of you and one of you. Lumar, by the way, is used for all the different lights and colors and all the cool stuff you can do. Like you can make lamps that are all different colors. But what we're going to do, you should be done by now. And we'll make this. So that is just three pieces of glass are needed. The lime Lumar in the middle. Oh, I don't have that ribbon on me, do I? Derpy Dyer. Where'd it go? Oh, I do have the ribbon on me. Extra Derpy Dyer. Look at me being prepared for a change. Sweet, a monitor. All right, one more item. Oh, I put the cactus screen in there. I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, we need IO expanders. These are not terrible, but I do need bundled cable, um, which is gonna require more wool and some red alloy ingots. So I don't know that I'm particularly good on red alloy ingots. So let's get a stack of glowstone again, or redstone again. Um, so you, with a fuel source, Gets me a stack of redstone. And we're going to need 16 iron for this. And that should cook up just fine. Um, let's do more wool. So I think what I'll do is just grab a stack of wool. That's not how I wanted to do that, by the way. There we go. And for now, we can start with this. Remember this stuff? This was like the original form of like channels and stuff for all this good stuff. It's it's like the first mod that had like separate channels, as far as I remember, for redstone and whatnot. Nice. Probably put away a few more tools right now. Like you, I don't need to have. This dark matter can just go in here if I want it to. So much EMC. Nice. I don't think I need you guys for the time being, but if I do, I'll come back to you. So that is enough to make an IO expander, I'm sure. Red doped wafer and some wood. Nice. Now I need eight of those, by the way. Um, so I'll probably need more ribbon cable. There we go, eight of them. Beautiful. So then the last thing to make is an accelerator, which ain't bad. Just four blue alloy ingots and uh, four obsidian. And we're done with this quest, guys. How cool is that? So I know it was a lot of crafting, but I kind of wanted you guys to see, and for those of you who have never seen it before, 
what Project Red was all about, or Red Power 2, you know what I mean. So let's put away some of the junk we have and go hand in this quest and see what kind of goodies we get. I don't remember uh, what, if anything good, you get from this. So I'm hoping it's at least something useful. But if not, it's okay, I'll live. So we can burn up a bunch of stuff that we don't need right now, like all these things. And everything else can go into our miscellaneous items chest. Yeah, none of the stuff I need. Isn't it amazing how much I have miscellaneous items just floating around? All right, let's put you and you on my hot bar so I can snag all these items because they're about to go get dropped into this dude. So let's drop them in. Quest stand in time. Let's see what we get. Dun 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 dun, that's the wrong one. Dun 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 dun, I think this is it. So I did the CPU and all that stuff, and here comes my reward. It's, ooh, nether wart, okay. Now to remember, does nether wart have to grow in the nether? I don't remember. Doesn't have to grow on soul sand? Is there a way to get soul sand? Just with micro blocks. What about, what about with this thing? So first off, before I forget, let's not go jumping into the nether. Learned. 24 EMC. Like, hey, let's just fall really hard and then jump into the nether with my only piece of nether work before I teach it to the EMC tablet. Because I'm a smart person. I want to see if... Isn't there like a... Yeah, hello. That gets me netherrack, which I don't think I currently have. Um, but I wonder if sand in here, which, gee, it would have been nice if I had brought some sand, but I wonder if I can transmute sand into soul sand. I'm not sure if that's true, or if there's a transmute for it. You are not the void ring that I'm looking for. Oh, there's my base. I was going to say, like, how come there's nothing above me? See, I doubt it's going to equivalently exchange because it's an EMC of 49. So I might need to get Soul Sand from a quest reward. All right, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to look into the pyramid, which is totally rendering funny to me. There it is. Um, and see if there's any quests that look relatively easy to accomplish right now. Because if I got Nether Warp for that, Soul Sand should be within reason. So Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Solar Power, I remember being pretty hard. Blood and Mortar, Fires of Hell. There's a lot of crazy quests that haven't been done yet. Uh, let's go over here. So, Advanced Machines is done. All use Refractory Capsules. So that's some pretty complex stuff that requires bees. This requires Nuclear Reactor, so I don't have nuclear stuff yet. I remember I don't have access to that. That was the one that was done. That one's done. That one's done. Solar Powers, Apiary. Collector Mark III, that doesn't actually seem too hard to do. I could probably hand that in anytime soon. Um, just wanna see if there's anything else that might seem reasonable for me to complete at this time. What do we got over here? That's uranium, that requires a reactor to actually be running, so we're definitely not gonna be doing that. Gated Logic, I could probably do Gated Logic at this point. I'm waiting for my lasers to finish. Interesting. What's this one? Blood, sweat, and tears. Splash potions? So we did just get nether wart. Um, you know, obviously I can make more nether wart. I was just considering like, it's not bad EMC. I wonder if I can make a farm out of it. Obviously I can just make more in the, with the Klein star and all, but splash potions, most potions require nether wart, don't they? So maybe that's what I'm supposed to do next. That sounds cool. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if in 125 Nether Wart only grew in the Nether or not. At some point that changed. I don't even remember what direction it changed. If it's required in the Nether now or not, I, I don't know. But that's cool. Should I teach you how to make this? Sure, why not? Just so I have it. Um, so I can get a bunch of Nether Wart, which sounds cool. Probably will. Boom, there we go. I'm going to go think about doing Blood, Sweat, and Tears, because that might not be a terrible thing to do at this point. And... Uh, 
We'll see. But for now, it's wrapping up point. So Darwin 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this refresher on Red Power 2. Uh, I hope you enjoyed laughing at me every time I accidentally called it Project Red. But that's what's going to happen. Oh, look, see? It's filling up the battery box. Nice. We're getting lots of power. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is put you back on the sorting machine because I want my sorting machine to have all the powers that it needs. Nice. And I'll even request a couple more LV solars. All right. Dial 20 signing off. One more quest objective down. We've got a few more to do. Uh, we are going to have to get into bees at some point. So that's going to happen. Um, logic pipes might help a little bit. We'll see. By the way, how much dark matter do I have now? A lot. How much dark matter do I have over here? Probably a lot. <laughs> I haven't even looked in this chest in a while. I should probably focus this as dark matter instead of diamonds, but it's getting there. Not, not terrible. All right, guys. Take it easy.